Welcome back guys to another episode of Let's Play Automation. So I think today we are maybe ready to try the sandbox mode where we can build uh, our own car somewhere I think. So let's just uh, build a, a new model here and see how that all goes. So we basically just have to choose like uh, a base for the car, for the year, we can go more recent I guess. That actually doesn't really seem to do anything, okay. Probably have to click apply somewhere. Um, yeah, let's just uh, go through here, like what is there even? Maybe we find something that we like as uh, a base thing here. There are definitely quite a few of these. Okay, that was it, okay. Um, but I would like to go a little bit more recent, so it seems to be sorted after a year. Uh, maybe like light truck monocoque, that seems like, I mean, that's pretty heavy, but we already are pretty light on the carbon fiber. Okay, that seems to change a bit. Chassis material. I mean, here again, we might just go down with the weight a bit. Light A. AHS steel, okay. Engine placement, front transverse, front longitudinal, okay. We don't really see it changed anywhere, but. Yeah, let's ch ch choose that one. Front suspension. Oh, yeah, those are like tons of different parameters. I'm just like randomly clicking through here already. Solid X leaf coil, maybe. Has little, uh, yeah, I think the solid X coil is uh, good. Rear suspension. Yeah, I mean, we could just go for the same thing again. Or like a multi-link, maybe. Quality. And we could go a bit higher here. Yeah, it's like high cost and stuff. But I don't care, because I don't think that we have like a price limit. Alright, so now uh, on to engine. Uh, let's take like a, a boxer, I don't know. Uh, six or four cylinders, I mean, kind of obvious that we want to go for six. Alright. Looks cool, I, I guess. Yeah, let's just go for magnesium. Okay. Yeah, let's just make them a bit bigger. but not too long, I guess. Um, maybe around somewhere here or something, I don't know. Uh, head and valves. So, let's just uh, look through here. Max RPM or more friction? I don't know what's uh, good. Max RPM sounds pretty good. Dual overhead cam, yeah, let's just take that. We slowly see how it builds up here, like that's not uh, what happened in the 
and the challenges, that's for sure. Yeah, less emissions if you go for more. Let's just take uh, the middle block here. Oh. Hello. Had materials, so... Basically, the most important thing that's changing is tooling costs and the weight. So let's just go for the for this one here. What's the difference here? Heavier, more costly and everything. Let's just not do that here. Yeah, also doesn't look cool. Okay, crank. Yeah, let's go for bullet steel, obviously. Conrods. Let's also go for just lightweight titanium. Pistons. Yeah, the lowest one here, the lightweight forged, also seems pretty cool. Yeah, we can crank the, cap uh, the quality again, I guess. Alright, looking good. So now we can, yeah, we can definitely go for a little bit more power here. And yeah, a higher cam profile. What's the downside in that again? Oh, and lowering it, I mean, better low RP performance, better fuel economy, lower emissions, better smoothness, better fuel efficiency, yeah. Let's just go around sport in there. VVT, all cams, uh, I don't know. Doesn't really change anything when we don't uh, do the VVL profile here. Quality doesn't show me anything anymore, okay. Oh well. Uh, aspiration type naturally aspirated or a turbocharger. Like, obviously, I would want a turbocharger in there. Twin turbo ball bearing. Yeah, let's just take a ball bearing, why not? Presets, I, I'd say performance. Yeah, performance seems good, I think. Fuel system. Alright, let's just take injection here. Direct injection seems to be uh, pretty good. Per cylinder. Intake. Performance. Yeah, let's just trim this for performance, the car, and not so much for race. Okay, they are a bit in, uh, invisible from the inside, but uh, I don't care. Fuel type. Yeah, uh, super seems to be good, I think. Okay, fuel mixture. Yeah, let's just uh, pump this up a bit here. To be fairly rich. Collision timing can also go up. And the RPM of it as well. I mean, we are not getting any more warnings in here. Oh, cool. We can see like all the all the things in here. I mean, that just looks really cool. How you can like build it up uh, slowly. And high quality, obviously. Okay. Still no more warnings. So now we are in the exhaust section of things. Okay. Yeah, short cast. We can't change anything else here. A dual exhaust, obviously. Uh, bypass valves, maybe. Maybe not. I don't think so. Exhaust diameter. Let's just go to like the green yellow line here. 
catalytic converter. High flow three way just for this one muffler. Straight through and again. And now we're here and now we can see that our car is pretty much knocking. Okay. Yeah, try lowering the compression and ignition timing. I think I was a bit high on there. Yeah, definitely. Okay, pistons indicate piston stress caused by high RPM. Yeah, I think we are a bit high on the on the max RPM a bit here. Yeah, that just solved everything here. Flow bench, airflow restriction caused by the intercooler. So we have a pretty bad airflow. Uh, larger exhaust diameter doesn't really help here, but a lower one uh, may help a bit. Yeah, higher quality also doesn't really help there a lot. I mean, all of this like really doesn't change a lot except of this, uh, yeah, exhaust. The engine failed due to knock, yeah. Let's just go to about there. I mean, it doesn't uh, give us any warning, so I don't know how bad this actually is. Alright. I mean, maybe we just YOLO it and just go like through here as uh, I haven't seen that page at all. Okay, so now here we can see manual testing, automatic testing. Okay, cool. Oh, so now we can uh, do body, trim body selection. Yeah, let's just take this one. Body quality, yeah, let's go a bit higher. Fixture quality, let's also go a bit higher there. So we can do a couple things here. Yeah, but I think that we are like... Pretty good already here. I don't want to destroy it uh, more actually. So let's go to the next one, current fiber. Dang. Paint shots, all car, paint slots, yeah. Primary body. Pretty pink would be uh, pretty obvious, I think. Yum yellow, brutal black, rich red, blueberry. New custom paint. New paint, modify. A base color, let's just go for like a, a blue or something. Yeah, like a pretty dark blue. With not so much shine, what's the flake? I'm not sure. A pearl color. Let's just take like a bit of a brighter blue here. Bluish blue. Alright, save that. A 
paints. What? Paint does not contribute to any car statistics. These options are purely aesthetic. That's definitely wrong. Uh, here, can get back. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty ugly, actually. You know what? Let's go for brutal black here. Just because. And here we can go for... I uh, know. Yeah, steel doesn't look that good on there, actually. I think we should modify the brutal black to be... I mean, it's technically only everything black, so why does it look like it's not that black, actually? I don't know. Yeah, maybe we can take the bluish blue for, for that one or something, so we have like a bit of a contrast in here, bumpers. This is going to be one hell of an ugly car. I think we can do quite a bit of painting here. This thing doesn't even have any mirrors. Okay, interesting. Oh, the brakes. This thing also looks like pretty empty inside. Alright, so let's just go to the next one. Lights, oh god, you can't do literally anything in here. Damn. Flip, yeah, thank you. Yeah, that me. Oh no, I'd already placed player lights down here that I didn't want. Help. Alright, uh, headlights again. Maybe something uh, along these lines. They are pretty big though. This definitely does not look good, that's for sure, but I don't care. Tail lights. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, something like that, I don't know. Clearly, I don't know how to design a car. I mean, luckily, this isn't my job, so uh, yeah, indicators. I don't think that we need that, actually. Cooling. Yeah, we totally need a... Uh, need one of these guys. Alright, this already looks so much better. Uh, grill up front. Now this kind of looks like a face. Now we don't need any vents or scoops or whatever that is. Aerodynamics. A fuel cap. Why not? Like exactly uh, there. Uh, door handles obviously are also always nice. Just take the most ugly ones. Oh, perfect. They're already on both sides. And mirrors. Yeah, obviously. We are definitely not allowed to forget these. I mean, this should be uh, street legal after all. Those are some tiny ass mirrors. Yeah, that already looks a bit better. Misc Ariel. Yeah, 
Uh, one of these, obviously. A good old number plate. I mean, I kind of don't have so much space. Fab 365. <laughs> oh god, Echo Elite. Yeah, we definitely have to take a... Uh, Uh, yeah, this is uh, definitely what we need. Down there, and... I want uh, another one for the back, actually. Yeah, well, it seems like I'm not really allowed to do two. So let's just make it like something like that. Okay. Bumper bars. What the hell? No thanks. Batches. Ah uh, no. Wheels. That's important. But they all look kind of ugly. Let's just go for those, I think. Yeah, let's just... Or something like that, maybe. Exhaust tip. Yeah, we definitely need something like that. Misc fixture fixtures, all right. I mean, we are kind of missing a spoiler, I think, but... Um Maybe here, yeah, that's a spoiler, definitely. I mean, I don't think that this is how spoilers work, but um, at least it's something, I guess. Yeah, that already, uh, oops. Looks a bit better, at least. I mean, it's not really symmetrical and everything, but uh, I don't care. And I think that's already it with this episode, so we are going to finish this uh, monstrosity of a car in the next one, hopefully. And then we hopefully will be able to export the car to Beeman G and drive a bit around with it. So, yeah, stay tuned about all of that until, yeah, let's see, next week again, I guess. Until then, have a great time. See you all then. Bye-bye.